It's, it's uh, Ammo Swish 6. I'm back for another review. Um, this is not going to be the special shoe review I wanted to do. Uh, that's going to be the next one. But this one's going to be on three pickups. I just picked up two of them today, this morning actually, and one about three days ago. Um, now they I mean, really not special or anything. That's going to be the next video, but these are just something I picked up. wanted to show you guys. Um, let me get started real quick on the first ones. These are the Kobe, uh, <laughs> the Costin ones. Wish they were the Kobe's. Um, costume ones, and now I mean, pretty much this shoe um, it's starting to revolutionize revolutionize uh, skate shoes. You know, of course, that Luderlon insole that everyone's talking about constantly. Um, I showed you these with the red version I have. Um, I'm actually going to skate these. I think I've, I've been looking for a pair of shoes to skate the last couple months, and I've been just sticking with stuff I had in the closet. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and try these. I can always get them again if I have to, but. Um, if you're looking at basically just a white a white midsole, a um, little hit of like an ice blue, um, a gray swoosh down here, um, basically just one piece upper of obviously is going to be a nice uh, buttery suede, all black, and nice um, gray swoosh with Nike's be back there and like a white. So I mean, uh, you can't really go wrong with this shoe. I've noticed over the last couple weeks with everyone starting to buy them and starting to see them out and about. Um, it's just a really cool shoe, definitely um, definitely bringing some Nike technology to skateboarding shoes, uh, that's for sure. And then we have uh, a different one, a different shoe that's going to bring that too. Um, I just picked these up for 90 bucks, of course, because they're way too expensive. Uh, these are the P-Rod 5s. Um, of course, no heat. You guys are all picking up heat, but I think uh, I, I'm going to pick up some shoes that I like personally. Um, so basically, let's get really into it. It's you know you're looking at the difference of the shoe compared to the costume is going to be um, obviously designed by Paul Rodriguez. Um, going to have a signature diamond sole on the bottom that splits, kind of like a free um, red hit right there of a Nike swoosh. Red 5 V back here, red Nike SB back here. Um, obviously, the really cool part of the shoe is from about right here on. Is going to be that Lunalon technology. So you're looking at, you know, the squishy, scrunchy stuff that goes right there. Um, and the swoosh is just like the costume. It's not even, uh, it's not, it's pretty much on there. Like it's a little piece of, um, I don't even know what it is. It's like a little piece of like a synthetic that's glued on. That it looks like it will not rip off if you skate it. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, my favorite part of the shoe is the fact that it took him pretty much five, took Paul Rodriguez five, um, shoes to figure out that um, a seamless toe with no stitching is a big deal these days in skateboarding. So obviously you have this huge toe with no seams at all, nothing to rip off and explode um, like a lot of his other shoes. This shoe is much, much lighter due to the Lunar Lawn as well as the demand for a lighter skate shoe these days. Um, and all around it's very cool. My favorite part of the shoe is the inside, how it does not have that white swoosh like it has right here, it has just a tiny little swoosh in the back, which I think looks really sick. And these on feet, which I'll show you guys all three of these soon, are just, uh, they're light as hell. Um, they're worth the 90 bucks. They have the mesh tongue, the Nike SB here. Now, in pictures previously, they had the P Rod, the PR print right there. I'd, rack, I'd roll with the Nike SB right here um, any day compared to that Paul Rodriguez signature thing, although the signature is actually on the back of the tongue. So, um, the P Rod insole and all that stuff. Hey, overall, I mean, a lot of people are probably going to hate on this shoe and or buy it just to skate in. I'm going to actually keep mine just to rock because the comfortability, um, the uniqueness of the shoe. You know, maybe I'll skate it down the road, but this shoe is definitely going to be a stay in my collection for a little while. And last pair of shoes for today, Distressed Leather Janoskis. Um, these are worn just a smidge, as you can see, kind of splitting from the... I mean, kind of... The Distressed Leather is kind of weird because it kind of splits from the... From the sole, but these are worn a couple times. Uh, I got them from Buddy for 40 bucks. It's a good price considering they came out for 90, so why not, right? Um, so you're looking at all distressed leather upper, which means it's like I mean, just a real flimsy, um, scratches easily, creases easily, um, you know, all that stuff. But it kind of gives it a really unique look because I want to say all of these are kind of different. All of the distressed leather Janoskis are going to be different in some way or another because they. They, you know, they crackle really easily. So, um, basically, you're looking at that. You got a leather tongue, the Nike SB, and all that stuff. You guys seen the Janoskis and 
all that stuff. So let me just show you real quick what everything looks like on feet. Um, let me throw these bad boys on real quick, and then the costumes, and then the, um, Mr. Paul Rodriguez's shoes. Sorry about that. I'm using a Mac, so it's you know how it rolls. All right, so one sock. Um, so yeah, that's what you're looking at. Um, that's what the Janoski looks like. Very fresh, very clean. Um, definitely cool that it's all black. Um, that was awesome. Let's look at the costume real quick. The costume's going to look really sick. You guys saw the red version, but here's the black. The black is really fresh. Those are everything, of course. So, really sick. And the PR5, which I think looks really cool on feet compared to, you know, other shoes. Um, there you go. Right there. Here's my best favorite part is that side shot. That little swoosh, man. That long toe box and that tongue that pops. Um, it's a real thin tongue. I mean, it's really, really sick. So, um, long story short, guys, these are my three shoes: Costins, uh, Distressed Leather Janoskis, and the Paul Rodriguez Five. Um, be looking out. I'm gonna shoot a video in a couple hours here and upload it either later tonight or tomorrow. That's gonna have to do with uh, two of my samples I recently got. So, uh, long story short, shout outs to the regular people, um, and uh, I will see you guys very soon.